sounds of dirt hitting the ground in New Brunswick as New Jersey is one step closer to hitting a major milestone. This 510,000 square foot space will soon become the site for the state's first freestanding cancer hospital. It'll have both uh, clinical spaces, diagnostic spaces, research and uh, operating rooms and inpatient uh, uh, space. Um, and it's, it's really uh, the next big step in New Jersey's only national Cancer Institute designated cancer center. The new $750 million state-of-the-art facility will be known as the Jack and Cheryl Morris Cancer Center. The project made possible through a partnership with RWJ Barnabas Health and Rutgers Cancer Institute of New Jersey and New Brunswick Development Corporation. RWJ Barnabas is an underwriter for NJ Spotlight News. The goal is to coordinate both outpatient and inpatient care in one facility. Too many patients have to navigate their way through their cancer diagnosis and cancer treatment on their own. And through our navigation programs and this new facility, we're going to be able to coordinate all of that care for the patients in New Jersey. Hospital officials say the new cancer facility will really make a difference in the way they treat patients. It's also expected to bring plenty of jobs in the area, but its presence doesn't come without some concerns. Stop displacing our community! Protesters at the groundbreaking ceremony weren't shy about voicing their discontent for the new hospital. The interruptions forcing several speakers, including Governor Murphy, to pause during the event. I live in this neighborhood. My children went to school over at Lincoln. And it's just, to me, it's, this is criminal, what they're doing here. And I feel like the school board sold us out. All the powers that be are colluding for their own benefit. And the students, nobody is putting their needs first. Many of the protesters upset because the Lincoln Annex School was torn down to make way for the new medical facility. Plans are in the works to build a new school, but protesters say they wanted it to happen before the building was torn down, but they say their demands were ignored. Definitely the parents and the families enjoyed and appreciated having a school that was walking distance in the neighborhood and designed to be a school. Uh, the Lincoln Annex School was one of our highest performing schools in the community and now the students are going to be in a subpar temporary location for a period of several years. Um, so, you know, there's real concerns about their academic achievement and their ability to get to the school. But hospital officials say they're taking steps to make sure there aren't any further negative impacts on the community. For urban schools, uh, we were able to find a way to build a brand new $55 million community school in this neighborhood. Um, and uh, that just doesn't get done that often. So this was a vehicle to do that. So for generations, the students of New Brunswick will have a state-of-the-art elementary school. And for cancer survivors like Kiyosha Doyle, the new facility is something she's welcoming with open arms. I'm really excited that this building is opening up because I had to go to that building, this building. I had surgery at a different location, so to have everything in one is really important. The Jack and Cheryl Morris Center is expected to be completed in 2024. For NJ Spotlight News, I'm Melissa Rose Cooper. Support for the Medical Report is provided by Horizon Blue Cross Blue Shield of New Jersey, an independent licensee of the Blue Cross and Blue Shield Association.